Hi, it's Candy. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in. I thought I would show you today my holiday binder, kind of how it's set up, what I used. Um, we'll kind of run through that quickly. I'm not sure I can get this done in one part because there are several things that I wanted to share with you, but we will try, okay? I'm going to slip this in here real quick. It may glare. It may be too big. We'll see, but I'm just going to show you real quickly. This is the line of papers that I used. It was new to me. I hadn't ever used this particular brand before and I'll tell you I loved the papers. They were so thick. They were so heavy. They were so nice. The quality was wonderful. Now when I got this I, I couldn't find any ephemera or any accessory pieces to it. That was the only thing that I wished that I had had they may have had it and I couldn't find it or whatever, but that was that was what I found to be lacking. So I had to make my own ephemera, um, and that took a while. <clears throat> I found that to be the one issue that I had, the only issue that I had. So <clears throat> hope I don't have to deal with that this whole video. But otherwise, the papers were absolutely wonderful. So. Here it is. This is my holiday binder. Now, the way that I do this, okay, now let's go back. If, you, if you've been with me, you will know the distinction. If you haven't, here is verbiage that um, you need to learn to distinguish if you haven't already. And that is binder and planner. This is binder. That is the piece that you actually use to fit around and work from when you use your planner, which is the inside, um, the, the dated piece, the things that, that you work with, your calendar. The inside is actually your planner. This is your binder. So that's real important to know and to be able to distinguish, okay? So as I was putting this together, I started... I started early and I actually did my planner probably at the end of October. <clears throat> October. I start my holiday or Christmas things mid to the end of October and I will work with this probably through the middle of January. So I get a lot of mileage out of this. Also, I um, originally started in my Blush Franklin um, my Blush Franklin Classic. That's the size that I always use and I like the best. So I started out in my blush. Then I decided to put it in my red binder. Okay, And as you'll see when I go through here, because of the colors that um, are in this group of paper, it works real well in blush. It works great in red. It would work in green. I've even considered putting it in a silver binder. So, I can actually move it, you know, when I'm in January, I'll probably move it back to a blush binder. But anyway, it works great in several different binder colors. So, the setup can go, because of the colors, um, a multitude of different ways. Sorry guys, I've got this throat thing going on. So, what you're looking at now is the inside cover. <coughs> and I'm going to power through this video because I'm not sure how long I'm going to have the voice or the throat thing or whatever. So we're going to get this done now, okay? Inside pockets of the binder. I always just like to make those pretty. I like looking at something that is pretty. So I just want the pockets to look cute and to um, have pretty going on and for it to be fun. Then we're going to flip back. I'm going to slip a cop drop in, okay? <coughs> Please excuse me, but know that I feel like we need to get this done now. It might not happen a bit later. <coughs> we're going to flip to the inside cover of the back. Again, just pretty. Now the inside back, it's where I usually put some tags that I can use inside. 
I have all of those ready to use whenever I need them. So they're good to go, but I also use them for pretty. <coughs> Can you hang with me, do you think? <laughs> if it gets too bad, I'll quit. Okay, and then what I do is I make page separators. Those are actually used as monthly dividers in my binders. And I switch those around also. So the first one you see is for pretty again, but it's used to differentiate the very first month that I'm working on. When I started out with this, this was not the front because it wasn't Christmassy. It wasn't December. I didn't want it to. I didn't want it to look like that. So I used a different one that I had made. Now it's December. I want it to be all pretty and Christmassy. Okay. So that is the the page separator that we use when we first flip open. Okay. I did double back these. I don't always. But I was having so much fun, I wanted to look all Christmassy, so they are double-sided. I don't think the paper was. It didn't need to be. It was so nice and thick and heavy, okay? So we're just going to go through, and I, want, I just want you to see the page separators, or my monthly dividers, okay? And I did flip these around as necessary, depending on what we want to see on the very front, okay? Now here's January, because it doesn't scream... Christmas. And as we go into January, this is what will be on the front when I'm working the month of January. Okay? This was real pretty too. It had a lot of old, um, what do I want to see, say, um, antique-ish, old world, kind of an old world look. So this was, this was another one that I did, and I actually put a pocket on the front of it. It's one of those glassine pockets, and then I did with glitter paper I did a cross on that because I always want to remember the true meaning of Christmas and then on that in that pocket I put some more page separators no some more tags I can't ever have enough tags <laughs> I'm sure you know that uh, because of some of your comments on the last video about feathers you guys know I love the feathers too okay here's another page divider and on the back of that is a big glassine envelope, and I decorated those, and I put some more tags. Okay, now let's go over here. This is one of my other monthly dividers. Again, these papers were so wonderful. I didn't feel the need to do a lot of decorating on them. Some of them I just kind of added a little bit to them. Here, this was so cute. Had this little baby deer. So you see how this could all work in my blush binder so nicely. These look to me, this is part of the paper, and these look to me like the little palms. So all I did on this was add some palm trim right here. And there were snowflakes all here, so I used my, snow, my snowflake punch. Um, anyway, so pretty. I didn't have to do a lot, but when I wanted to add some things, I didn't have any ephemera, any ephemera, so I had to be creative and do that. It just took me a little longer than I wanted to. So, another one of my page dividers you have seen on Instagram, and this was it. Uh, I said, Merry Christmas, and I just added a few things right there. So, that was another one of my page dividers, which I use as monthly dividers, okay? Okay. Now. This was a snowflake I made a couple years ago as a, just a little clip. Okay, now, here was, here's another thing I wanted to show you. Okay, I need to see. The other thing I do whenever I make my page dividers or my monthly dividers is I make a lot of these, oh, they're kind of, these are kind of actually my page markers, and I always have a page marker on the date that it is, and I just do these different sizes in different fun ways, and again, you'll notice that any decoration I had to do, 
and I don't, you know, that's okay, that's fun, but um, it, it really, for me, it takes extra thought, and I, I sit here and look at these for a long time. If I had a femur to work with, it would still take me a while, but it would, it would be easier. This probably brings out a lot more creativity. This one was real fun. These were just some big snowflakes I had. You know, it takes digging through it takes digging through my stash to find and put these together. Now, that being said, I, I really <laughs> love the way that turned out. I sound like that's a huge burden to have to do that, and I love the way this turned out. It just, it takes me extra time to do that and to gather my supplies and to think, you know, what I can do and how I can do and all of that. So, it wasn't that big of a burden. I had fun doing it. I just like when there's ephemera available with a with a certain set. Okay, so page divider on the day of today. Okay, then my next page divider goes on the next Monday. That's kind of part of the system of how I work my planner. So next Monday is, well, this coming Monday is December 16th. Is that right? Or is today December 16th? I don't know, you guys. This is getting this month is getting away from me so fast. It's just like crazy. So my next page divider should go on the next Monday because if I have stuff to do, I can immediately turn to the next Monday and then go through that week and put things down. Now, one of the things that I'm doing is I am loving junk journaling so much that my my accessories to my planners are starting to look a little bit more like that when I do them. They're taking on that kind of a feel because I love the junk journaling and things. So I'm, I'm kind of striking a chord, kind of getting a different style. I'm kind of taking on a different style. So this is an envelope. So we can put different things. I could add tags. I could put notes. Um, I could put little little tabs if I wanted to. So I've added an envelope right there on the other side of this for decor. Okay? And here is another page marker. There's also a Velcro, piece of Velcro right there that'll hold that down. Here is, you saw this with those envelopes. That's kind of taken from junk journaling that I've watched videos and things. as has decorating the back of that where I put the glassine envelope there and then that has room for some other things a cute little tag there another tag I can write things on the tags the other side of them I can pick up and put notes on here's another little snowflake that goes in there Here is another page marker, and then on the back of that is kind of in the same kind of a style. That's how I decorated the back of that. I put that on an Instagram post too. I thought it was kind of hard to tell what it looked like, but I love the way that turned out. Okay. So there were a lot of things I wanted to share with you. I wanted to share with you the planner, the binder, the setup. Um, I wanted to share with you kind of how I use the things after I put them all together. Again, here is another piece. The back of it, whenever I actually decorated it, it's done as a pocket where I can put things and keep things. This is done with two more tags and anytime like if I take a book with me to read or something to study when I've got my planner with me I also have these tags I can take out of this and I can put in my book to keep my place I always take my planner and I always take books I don't I do not travel without a book I showed you that and I showed you this and I also put this in a post I think this was added just as this is kind of a little 
band. So I can slip anything in there and it will hold. And then this was just kind of done as a junk journal type of um, a junk journal type of boy, that word's just totally gone decor of decorating. I just kind of put that on there all different like that. And I really, I really do love that. So there's definitely a difference in the style of what I am creating and doing right now. I'm having so much fun. That's kind of an evolution. And I think, I think it's because I've watched such different things and I'm doing journals and, um, just kind of creating and growing and having fun and all of that. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to put those in the comment section. We, I lasted. We got through this without all of the coughing that started at the beginning. I hope the cough drop in the mouth didn't irritate you too much. So if you have any questions, be sure and put them in the comment section. Um, I'll be happy to share anything on planning. A lot of planner systems are in previous videos because we've gone over those before and I look forward to sharing with you the different things that um, that I have planned and the different things that I have created and if you have anything special that you want to see just give me a shout we'll do that and thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate the old thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and thank you, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you. Bye.